Okay, so in the next example, we will show that the complex numbers with addition as a structure is not isomorphic to the set of complex numbers with the operation star, where again, uh, star gives the product of a complex number with, the, with the, a conjugate of the second. So proof. Now as both structures contain the same underlying set, many bijections exist however for every three elements z1 c2 and z3 in the set of complex numbers when we perform the sum it does not matter how we group those elements as we have demonstrated in previous lectures. And so the set of complex numbers with addition is a semigroup while the set of complex numbers with the operation star is not. And so in this case, it is a homomorphism that does not exist. Uh, the two operations are not fundamentally the same, as one is associative while the other is not. Okay, so in the next two lemas, we are going to begin to see the power of abstract methods, which allow us to make statements about types of structures rather than a specific structure. So first, let the set S together with the binary operation star and the set S prime together with the binary operation star prime be two magmas such that the element E is in the set S where, again, E is the identity. For the operation star on the set S, if the map phi from S into S prime is an isomorphism, then phi of E is the identity for the operation star prime on the set S prime. Okay, so proof. Okay, so now for every element A in the set S, we have that E star A is the same as A star E, which is the element A. Now, as the function phi is a homomorphism, we have that phi of E star prime phi of A is the same as phi of A star prime phi of E, which is phi of A. Now, as the function phi is a bijection, the set S prime is precisely phi of A for the elements A in the set S. And so for every element phi of A in the set S prime, we have that phi of E star prime phi of A is equal to phi of A star prime phi of E, which is phi of A. And hence, the element phi of E is the identity 
for the Operation Star Prime on the set S Prime. Now notice that if S, prime, uh, S is isomorphic to S Prime and the identity element is in the set S, then necessarily phi of E is in the set S prime, as it is a bijection. So this suggests that if a monoid is isomorphic to a second structure, then that second structure is also a monoid. And we shall next uh, prove that. So let S together with the binary operation star and S prime, together with the binary operation star prime, B two magmas. If S is isomorphic to S prime, and the structure consisting of the set S with the binary operation star is a monoid, Then the structure consisting of S prime with the binary operation star prime is also a mon monoid. Okay, so proof. As S is isomorphic to S prime, there exists a bijection, which we'll call phi from S into S prime, such that for every two elements, A sub 1 and A sub 2 in the set S, phi of A sub 1 star A sub 2 is the same as phi of A sub 1 star prime phi of A sub 2. Now, as the structure S together with the operation star is a semigroup. We have that for every three elements, a sub one, a sub two, and a sub three in the set S. Does not matter how we group those elements. A star, the quantity, a two star, a sub three, is the same as the quantity, a sub one star, a sub two, star, a sub three. And so phi of a sub 1 star of the quantity, a sub 2 star a sub 3, is the same as phi of the quantity a sub 1 star a sub 2 star a sub 3, where phi of a sub 1 star of the quantity a sub 2 star a sub 3 is phi of a sub 1 star prime phi of a sub 2 star a sub 3 and this is the same as phi of a sub 1 star prime the quantity phi of a sub 2 star prime phi of a sub 3 and phi of the quantity a1 star a2 star a3 sub 3 is the same as phi of a sub 1 star a sub 2 star prime phi of a sub 3 and this is the same as the quantity phi of a sub 1 star prime phi of a sub 2 star prime phi of a sub 3. Now, as the function phi is a bijection, the uh, set S prime is precisely phi of a, where a is in the set S. 
And so we have that for every three elements, phi of a sub 1, phi of a sub 2, and phi of a sub 3 in the set as prime, phi of a sub 1 star prime the quantity, phi of a sub 2 star prime phi of a sub 3 is the same as the quantity phi of a sub 1 star prime phi of a sub 2 star prime phi of a sub 3. And so the operation star prime is associative over the set S prime and hence the structure S prime together with the operation star prime is a semigroup. Now as the structure S together with star is a monoid, the element the identity element is in the set S, and so phi of E is in the set S prime, and by the previous lemma, phi of E is that the identity for the operation star prime on the set star, star uh, S prime. And therefore, the structure S prime together with the operation star prime is a monoid. Okay, so next we will look at an example utilizing this lemma. Okay, so we will show that the set N times Z that is, the set of all integer multiples of a given integer n with addition is a monoid for every choice of integer n. All right, so proof. We have already demonstrated that the set of integers with addition is a semigroup now there exists the number 0 in the set of integers such that for every other integer a a plus 0 is the same as 0 plus a which is a and so the set of integers with addition is a monoid. We will show that z is isomorphic to n times z. Define the function phi from z into n times z by phi of a is n times a. Suppose that phi of a is equal to phi of b, then n times a is equal to n times b. This implies that a is equal to b. So the function phi is injective. let the element t be in the set n times z. Then the element t is of the form n times a where a is an integer. That is, for every element t in the set n times z there exists an element a in the set of integers such that t is equal to phi of a and so the function phi 
is surjective. So as the function is both injective and surjective, it is bijective. Now, for every two pair of elements, a and b in the set of integers, we have phi of a plus b is n times the quantity a plus b, which is n times a plus n times b, and this is phi of a plus phi of b. And so the function phi is a homomorphism. And as this homomorphism is a bijection, the function phi is an isomorphism. And thus, z is isomorphic to n times z. So as z is isomorphic to n times z, and the structure z or the integers with addition is a monoid the structure n times z with addition is also a monoid now notice that we have also demonstrated that infinitely many structures under addition are uh, isomorphic to each other. In particular, z is isomorphic to 2z, which is isomorphic to negative 3z, which is isomorphic to nz, again, for any integer n. Also, uh, notice what the previous lemma does not say. The previous lemma does not say that any two uh, monoids are isomorphic. The fact that two magmas are both monoids does not imply that they are isomorphic.